Good morning, this is Bob Miller, Bob Miller Success, with day 243 of practicing gratitude and success, where I name at least one person every single day who I'm grateful for. I also, what I do is, is I've been sharing this acronym that I, that I use for my life that helps me to keep make things more, I should say, easy, simple for my, for my life. And it's, it's, it's a acronym called GALS, G-A-I-E-L-S. And I've been sharing the different letters and what they mean. And yesterday I shared the letter L. So today I'm going to share, I'm going to continue with the L because there's a few, a few words that I, that I left out. And then I'm going to talk a little bit, my closing words on Wayne Dyer. And I'm going to bring in my good buddy, uh, uh, Len Mooney, who's also here to talk a little bit about, about Wayne Dyer. So with, with, with the, the letter what Gale stands for every day I am. You know, it's, at, at first I, I just say I am. I am growing. I am appreciating. I am improving. I am imagining. I am engage. I am engaging. I am. E I am evolving. I am expanding. I am. I am loving. I am learning. I am. And with, now with Wayne Dyer, I am, think I'm living. And I'm leaving a legacy because that's what I thought today is like wow you know what's what's the legacy that I want to leave when I die when I pass away and I thought about that this morning that's why I'm I'm reintroducing the letter L that I put in yesterday. How do you want to live and what kind of legacy do you want to leave when you, when you leave this earth when you, when you go when you die? What kind of legacy do you want to live? What do you want to leave? And then of course the last letter is S is that's that's to surround yourself with people who are going to support you on your journey simplify things in your life and, that, and share that and I'm going to talk about the letter S tomorrow but Wayne Dyer what he meant to me and I, he's my mother first gave me his book I think it was 1977 or it might have been 1978 I don't, don't remember when but it was your er erroneous zones she loved Wayne Dyer she was just in, in love with the guy and so since that time I've been following him and then every Monday over the last several years, I was actually I was on, he, I listened to him live on Hay House Radio every Monday afternoon. He had a live uh, broadcast show, and I would listen in for an hour every single every not every single but most most Mondays I would listen. In. I even called up and I was on there one time. So it was so I couldn't believe it. I actually got on I, on the line. I was actually speaking to Wayne Dyer. And I, all, all I could do was talk about my mother, and I was only on for about maybe two minutes or something like that. But it was it was one of the biggest thrills of my life. But he'll be missed. He will, he, will, he will certainly be missed, but his, his legacy will, will live on through his, with his many books, the videos, the, the movies he's made, and, and through his family who, who have been supporting him for all these years. So that's what I wanted to just, just give the little tribute to Wayne Dyer. So I'm going to ask, uh, see if Len Mooney wants to say a, a couple of closing words here on, on Wayne Dyer. Len, I can put the, you can come over here if you like, or I can hold the camera up here. Oh, that's okay. I gotta, I, I gotta move, I gotta move the, the speed bump out of the way here. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Actually, uh, yeah, I, I was actually, I, what I see is your hand, Bob. Good morning, everybody. Len Mooney here. Time for a cup of coffee. And uh, yeah, Wayne Dyer was a, someone who meant a lot to me too. And uh, just uh, to give you one quote from Wayne Dyer for you to think about: Everything in life is either an obstacle or an opportunity. You get to choose. I love Wayne Dyer. He'll be missed. May you rest in peace. You have a great day. That's all, Bob. Thanks, Len. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow on day 244. Now, who are you grateful for today? Bye-bye.